Well, this year, the big revolution from all the big TV manufacturers is glasses free 3D. As you can see up there, Toshiba is boasting it loud and clear at the EFA 2011 technology show. And the model I've got behind me is their first ever market ready glasses free 3D screen. It's the Toshiba ZL2. It's a 55 inch model. And although the one we've got on behind me doesn't have anything on display, we did get the chance to have a little preview of the 3D content behind closed doors. So with the ZL2, Toshiba boasts that when you're watching it with uh, glasses free 3D mode, you get a double HD resolution, double full HD is what they actually told us. Now I've got to say from the demonstration I just saw, I'm not left fully convinced. The resolution is actually significantly less sharp than what we've seen with active shutter 3D glasses, which is now a slightly older technology certainly compared to glasses free. Still the colours are certainly there, they're very bright, very strong, perhaps a little oversaturated. The problem I had was the sense of depth. I didn't really get a very, very deep sense of depth going on with the 3D display. But the benefit is, it's comfortable to view. Now you can sit in a room, it doesn't even matter if you're directly dead on to, the, to what you're watching. You don't get an eye strain, you don't get the, uh, the strain that happens when you're watching 3D with glasses on. Now often that can be caused by the ghosting images, or it can be caused by just the darkening of wearing those glasses. This was perfectly bright, you didn't have to wear the glasses, so there's no discomfort. And it's a pretty comfortable experience all in all. It's just a question of how satisfying the 3D depth is. Now, as with most 3D screens, there is a slight restriction on the viewing angle, so you can't really sit miles off to the side of the room. So even with this new technology, Toshiba hasn't fully cracked that problem of how do you get a 3D screen into the average shaped living room. However, you don't have to be dead on either. Now, we could sit slightly to the side of the screen, and you still had a comfortable 3D experience with a slightly perceivable sense of depth. And the advantage of this is it means you can get more than one person in the sweet spot. So if you're sat on a sofa, three of you could be there, slightly different angles, you're all getting a 3D image. So the 3D works, the screen is huge, that's the good news. What's the bad news? The price. This is going to launch in December of 2011 for a price of £8,000. Now that's more expensive than pretty much any uh, 3D TV with glasses that we've seen. Question is, who's going to be stumping up for such eye-watering prices? The good news is the technology is there and it's getting better year after year. So who knows, 2012, we could start seeing even more glasses-free 3D, hopefully at lower prices. In the meantime, keep checking on at witch.co.uk forward slash techdaily for all the latest on TV technology.